All right, and tell me what we're looking at right now. Uh, what, what's the devastation like? Uh, well, mostly trees, rooftops, um, interior damage, glass broken, uh, cars damaged, um, the whole nine yards. It's just, um, you know, it only took probably about a total of five minutes and it did all this devastation in that short of time. Does it seem like almost every part of your property was touched? Yes, every part. And all the way from well across the field there are farmer friends, uh, their house, it looks like all their windows were blown out, the roof was taken. Then that uh, tornado just kind of followed right down 11th Street here. And it, it touched, I think, every home on the block. How long have you lived here? Uh, we have lived here approximately 40 years. To see your home like this now, what, what, what are you feeling? Sad. <laughs> But um, we'll rebuild and we'll get it going again. And by the grace of God, we're all healthy. You know, we didn't. Nobody got hurt, and that was the first thing everybody did. They jumped right out into the street, checked on all the homes. All the neighbors and friends came out and checked on each other. Um, small community like this, everybody, you know, touches lives like that. That's what I was gonna say. Melbourne's yeah. kind of a small town. Do you think yeah. this is uh, bringing everyone together? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, we were a close knit community anyway. But I think. Something like this always brings everybody even closer. What was it like for you inside the house? What did you see here? Um, well, I opened the windows because we had a rain um, and they were closed at the time. And then I thought, okay, it's done raining. So I opened up the windows. Um, when I opened them, I could hear, like they say, it sounded like a train. Um, so I, you know, hollered to my husband, um, tornado. He said, he grabbed a blanket. We ran down the steps, went under the stairs. And at the time, right after we hit the stairs, we could hear glass breaking, felt the pressure, um, felt, you know, we could hear wood run. You just felt, you could feel the um, roof popping off. So, and it only, like I said, it only took a total of about five minutes and then it was done and it got really quiet and that was kind of eerie. So in Beans, it was nighttime too and dark, you know, it was kind of hard to see the devastation. So um, most of us didn't get much sleep last night, so we were up as soon as the sun came up, and as you can see, it was pretty, pretty devastating. Were there, um, did you lose power before? Uh, we lost power um, right during it, okay. right when the tornado was hitting. Um, and they're, right now they're trying to get the power going again, so. Did you hear any sirens or any sort of warning that this was coming? I didn't personally, um, but sometimes it depends again on you know the side of town that you're on and also um, you know how the wind's blowing and of course the wind was blowing ferociously. So, but no, I did not. But you could sense it, you know, that it was just really tight feeling and um, you just knew something was going to happen.